I've been helping people with money for more than 20 years. But no one stumped me more than the princess. I go to the hairdresser every single week because I wash my hair. She's a princess. I'm here to help this princess take control of her money and her life. Over the next six weeks, she'll live on a strict cash diet and complete weekly challenges. She wants something, she wants something. If you see a good dress, you're supposed to snag it. If this princess has what it takes, I'll transform her from spender to saver. And I'll give her up to $5,000 to help her pay down her debt. You are grounded for the next six weeks. Is it? No changes, no money. Oh, 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 she's a princess. She's a princess. Meet Nicole. My name's Nicole, and I'm a youth service coordinator. This 25-year-old makes about $32,000 a year, and she has no problem spending every penny. You have to have the right jeans to go with the right shoe, the right shoe to go with the right jean. Oh, I like these jeans. And then you have to have the right jacket to go with the right jean and the right shoe. So it's hand in hand. I think she just likes spending money. What are you looking for? I don't know. I just want to be here. When she's angry or when she's feeling frustrated, she shops. Okay, so it comes to 324. I guess she has to buy the clothes to measure up to what she sees on TV. Thank you. Enjoy. Thanks. Thank you. And Nicole spares no expense on her looks. The nails have to constantly be done. Nicole goes to the hairdresser to do things that she can do at home. I go to the hairdresser every single week because I wash my hair. She has to be perfect before she can step out. Every girl's a princess. It's about how well much of a princess you want to be. All this princess upkeep costs her plenty. Nicole spends like a celebrity, paying no mind to her future or that of her nine-year-old daughter. My name is Kia and I'm in grade four. I think with Kia, her focus is on just playing. Nicole's nine-year-old daughter isn't the only one who likes to play. Shipping Kiowa off to Grandma's house lets Nicole hit the party scene three to four nights a week. Kiki is always at my house. She stays there, she leaves from there, she goes to school, she leaves from school, she comes back. Kiki gets really upset about that too, so. Hello, Mom. What time are you coming? Nicole's trying to do everything that a 25-year-old would do without a child. I never said I wanted to sleep over. He misses her mom because, you know what I mean, it's her mom. OK, bye. And the issues around childcare aren't the only ones causing major conflicts. My mom has so much clothes. When you think she doesn't have more clothes, she pulls out her suitcase just to get more clothes. When is this going to end? When is what going to end? The shopping spree that you're constantly on. When she can't get her way with mom, Nicole will even bully her little sister. Tiana, can I um, use your card to get these boots? I've only had my credit card recently, and she's used it more than me. The one credit card I have now is actually Max, so her spending is out of control. She needs to be cut off. Pushed to the limit, Nicole's friends and family have decided to cut her off. What is wrong with you? Mm, what is wrong with me? How come you get to be 25 years old, have a daughter, have a job, but you still think it's okay to knock mommy up for money every single time you turn around? She's my mom. So we're gonna see what some people have to say about you. This is your baby sister. She's always hassling me to use my credit card to put stuff on for her. It is maxed out right now because she maxed it out. So she makes more than you do, right? I don't think so, no. So why would you think it's okay to spend her money then? Here comes mommy. She can be a bully. She yells and she screams when she doesn't get her way. You give in and she shuts up, so half of the time it's just a lot easier to just get her out of your head. <sighs> I'm not a bully. But if other people are perceiving you that way, you have to ask yourself why. OK, you do this pretty regularly. You dump Kiki off at your mother's house, and you disappear into party land. And Kiki says to you, when are you coming home, mommy? And you say, I'll come in soon. And you don't. You leave her there. If she, she knew I didn't have fun where I was going when she went out, she would not go out. She would stay at home. But it doesn't really hurt my feelings because she always spends the holidays with me. But there's not that much holidays. But sometimes she spends the weekend with me. Sometimes you wonder why someone's not spending as much time as they used to, What kind, and that kind of hurts your feelings, that they don't have as much time for you as, as before anymore. Maybe because I'm so wrapped up in doing what I'm doing, I don't have that extra time for her. I gotta get myself out before I get too deep. So do not go away from me. You stay through the process, 
And I promise you, when you come out the other end, things will be better. I managed to break through Nicole's very tough shell. But by the time her family arrived to review the numbers, she'd pulled herself together and was not ready to admit to any mistakes. So I wanted your family here because it's important that they see the reality when I show it to you. She's carrying over $16,000 worth of debt. Like most of my princesses, not only does Nicole owe her creditors, but she's indebted to her family. Tiana, how much does she owe you on the credit card? 800. Mommy, how much does she owe you? I would say more than $6,000. Okay. So when we add it all up, you're over $23,000 in debt. Look at the outrageous amount of interest you are paying on your debt, almost 30%. And when you make a minimum payment of $73 on this $2,600 credit card, 44 of that is going to interest, which means it's gonna take you nine years to pay off this pathetic little $2,600. That's a lot of debt for a 25-year-old girl, you know? With nothing to show for it. This is a one-month glance of how you spend your money. So these are all real numbers. You spent $57 on groceries. Really? That's less than $15 a week to feed you and your daughter. No, well, I go to the store here and there because there's times I just have cash in my hands. So. Uh how? Because you know what? This $120 this month is not your average. You average $500 a month in cash. Nicole, every month you're spending nothing on savings. You're spending $532 in debt repayment, but 63% of your income goes to your wants and another 111 of your income on your needs. And how can you spend more than 100% of your income? That's because mom covers half your needs and a third of your wants. You can't afford your needs, let alone your wants. It's pretty scary. Mommy, yes. brace yourself. This is what your mother is spending on you every single month, almost $1,600. Wow, I honestly had no idea how much I was enabling her. You've been earning about $2,400 a month, which works out to about $32,000 a year. You would have to make $86,000 a year to live the way you're living. And you would have to make $106,000 a year to live the way you're living and pay off all the money you owe. <laughs> and if you were actually paying your own way, you would be going into debt to the tune of $2,100 every month. That's stunning, isn't it? Okay, so are you gonna do whatever I ask over the next few weeks? I give my word. Okay. And are you gonna make the commitment to keep your hands out of your wallets? Yes, absolutely. Yes, I will. This is about taking control of your money and your life. You do my challenges and you will get up to $5,000, you're gonna start acting like a grown-up mother. You're gonna have to learn to live within your means. And you're gonna learn that you can have the things you want without tapping somebody else's purse. Most importantly, no whining, no bitching. If you don't do the challenges, if you don't have the right attitude, you don't get the money. Say bye-bye shopping, bye-bye. Hello, motherhood. Yeah, she may be saying it jokingly, but it's not a joke. Coming up, you are grounded for the next six weeks. Excuse me? Oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Nicole is a 25-year-old community worker who regularly lets shopping and a fancy nightlife take priority over the responsibilities of motherhood. She's mastered the art of bullying her family to get what she wants. Fed up, they've decided to cut her off. She has six weeks to prove to her family and herself that she can stand on her own two feet. Before she gets my $5,000, she's going to have to address some very hard truths. Now give me your credit card. Plastic, whatever you have, gone. $210 covers groceries, an allowance for Kiki, and transportation. She's gonna have a lot of trouble, like, budgeting herself. Cause when she sees something, it's like, I have to have it. We come to your first challenge, which is the Get Real Challenge. You are grounded for the next six weeks. Excuse me? No, that's a little curse. I'm 25. Why are you grounding me at 25? You may go out with your friends three times, 
That's once every two weeks. I do not like this process whatsoever. In the meantime, you're coming home every night, you're looking after your daughter, you're cooking from scratch. Okay. You're gonna act like a grown-up. I'll see the way I feel when I wake up. If I feel like I wanna do it, then fine. If I don't, then that's too bad. I just won't do it. No more shopping or partying for Nicole. Instead, she picks up her daughter from Grandma's house for the last time. Kia, um, come on, I'm downstairs. For the next six weeks, Kiowa will be eating, sleeping, and spending quality time with mom. Basically, I set aside 50 for food. Nicole started out the week grocery shopping. She didn't buy anything pre made and she stuck to her budget. Next, she and Kiowa spent time in the kitchen rather than spending money on pricey snack foods, making her cash go a little further. This week, it's mom, not grandma, who helps Kiowa study for her test on Thursday. Instead of hitting her mum up for handouts, Nicole invited her over for a visit with Kioa. No more nights on the town. Friday, Nicole's only after work plan was to pick Kioa up after school and find out her test results. High five, A minus. Rather than hitting the mall on Saturday, these two created the perfect day of lounging and fun. My mom has been be being really great. Before she had a little bit of time for me, but now she has even more. Since she didn't go out, Nicole had no problem sticking to her budget. Gail gave me this book, the princess book, and then she gave me some budget sheets that I had to fill out for income. I think it should be like around 32. My rent is 918. When you're making up a budget, you need to decide what your must-haves and your nice-to-haves really are. I consider me doing my hair as a must-have. I wash my hair once a week. It, you can't do that at home? Excuse me? Cutbacks. You need to cut back. Two hundred eighty-three dollars and sixty-nine cents over. Because Nicole's mom bankrolled so many of her essential expenses, Nicole's used to having lots of money for self-indulgence. Now that she has to stretch her income over those items, she's having a hard time making it work. Is Kiki enjoying all of this? She loves it. No, really? <laughs> the girl likes to have her mother home with her for a change? Yeah. You're being a mommy. Yeah. How did you miss going out with your girlfriends? Not much, Not really. so much? No. So do you think you're seeing things a little bit differently now? Yes. So I went over your budgets. You made three versions. This is a really tight budget. It was hard because you had to keep cutting back. Yeah. You don't make all that much money. No. Nicole has made a great start, but as she lives with this budget, she's going to have to tweak it as she goes. So when you make a budget and you don't have enough money to go party, what do you tell yourself? I have to suck it up. It's for the good. Yep. Coming up. I, I like it. The asking price is 465000 Oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, oh, oh. She's a princess. 25-year-old Nicole is a single mom who loves to squander money on herself. She subsidized her basic living expenses by emotionally blackmailing her mom. And she abandoned her daughter at grandma's. I grounded Nicole, forcing her to stop acting like a teenager and start facing the realities of being a mother. And she created a strict budget. She's making some major headway. But if she wants my $5,000, she's going to have to put away her petulant princess attitude and give some serious thought to her future. Nicole has spent ridiculous amounts of money on clothes. Her closets are bursting at the seams. So now I think it's time that she learns when enough is enough. Time for your next challenge. The less is more challenge. You're going to go through all your stuff and lay it all out. You get to keep anything that you have 30 or less of. If you have more than 30, you're taking them and selling them. What? It's time to pare back to what you need and use whatever resources you can generate from that to help get rid of that debt. I think you'll have fun, and I hope so. you make some money. Sucks. Like, why do I really have to sell my clothes? Why can't I do any other, like, there's other challenges for me to do. This one's really ticking you off. But I really don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. Why? Couldn't you just give me a different challenge? This is all part of the process. It's figuring out the difference between the things you need and the things you just want. And right now, one of your big needs is to get the hell out of debt. Think about it. It's the stuff you're getting upset about. I have no clue what I'm going to do. I mean, you might get a call from me from tomorrow, say I don't want to do nothing no more. I 
I went to sleep angry. I woke up angry. You're a hoarder. You're at 20. Probably if you haven't worn it in, in a year, there's no point in keeping it. So it's who? Who are you working for? <laughs> These weights? Everyone needs white jeans. Get out of here. This has to stay. This, this has can, to stay. This can go, right? Yes. <laughs> I don't want to go through my shoes. Casual. Casual. Oh, wait, my sandals. My sandals. My sandals are not being added. Stop. And my sandals are casual. Honestly, no. <laughs> no. For Nicole to pass this challenge, she not only needs to pare down her closet, but sell the excess as well. Is this like a big onion? How much is this one? That's 10. Thank you. I'm happy that I'm actually selling what I had to sell. And this pulp, this is good enough. 40, 60, 80. Thank you. One of the problems a lot of people have is figuring out how they're going to get to where they want to be next. We'll do it with a short-term goal first. OK. And then I'll ask you to choose a long-term goal, okay. and you can work through this yourself for your long-term goal. OK. So what we're going to deal with for your short-term goal is getting your consumer debt paid off in 36 months. So we have to create a clear picture that has lots of detail. That's the why, OK, the reason okay. and the specifics. So what steps are you going to have to take to make this happen? The first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to itemize your debts. Debt repayment, let's go. Nicole planned her short-term goal of paying off her debt in three years. And when she realized that was doable, she applied my goal-setting steps to her long-term goal of purchasing a home. Hi. Hi, I'm Karine McCabe from Home Life. And Nicole. Nicole, nice to meet you. Nice Come on in. So ideally, you'd want to have 5% down, which is about $10,000. You'll roughly uh, spend $999 a month on a mortgage, plus $200 maintenance fee, and then your property taxes, roughly $200 a month. It's not that large. It's kind of crammed. Nicole wanted more house for her money, so Karine showed her a house with potential rental income. Come on in. A lot bigger, right? So living room, dining room, a large kitchen, eat-in area. Yeah, I can see this is an office. The second home we showed Nicole today, I think it was a lot more in keeping with her ideals. Yeah, I like it. The asking price is 465000 Really? More than double of the first place we saw. Judging by your face, that's a lot more money than you expected. Yeah, by far. Seeing these houses actually just made me want to just hire and repay my debt and start putting money away. If Gail said it takes 36 months to pay off that debt, that's two years, then it probably will take me three years to save up all that money. Sounds like reality setting in. I looked at your debt repayment plan, and there are a couple of things I want to go over with you. You did a great job, OK? I'm very impressed with the fact that you did two debt repayment plans. Thank you. You didn't just do what I asked, you did more. I actually gave myself two options. I gave myself a two-year plan and a three-year plan. But the two-year plan was my ideal time. If Nicole wants to have this paid off on time, she better make sure she gets the full $5,000. Coming up, Judgment Day. How much change have you seen in Nicole? Oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, oh, oh. She's a princess. Six weeks ago, Princess Nicole seemed more immature than her nine-year-old daughter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this shopaholic moved out of her parents' house a year ago, but that didn't stop her from tapping her mom for free childcare or raiding food from mommy's cupboards. Over the last six weeks, I've got Nicole living on a cash diet and spending time at home rather than spending money on her stuff. Nicole's made major steps toward changing her ways. Before I make my final decision, I want to check in with Nicole's mom to see what she thinks about Nicole's progress. How much change have you seen in Nicole? Honestly, I've seen like almost a full 100% change in Nicole. Well, you know what? I'm totally with you on old Nicole versus new Nicole. And I want to see new Nicole. Come see me, girl. Your transformation has been miraculous. Really? Really? Do you not have a sense that you are different now than you were six weeks ago? Yes. How are you different? Um, just in the sense that I just know when to stop. Yeah. And keep on a strict budget. You have had some significant things happen this month from being grounded. Yes. 
right, to having to divest yourself of all the stuff that was sort of cluttering up your energy. Yeah. Yeah. Set a short-term and a long-term goal, which really seemed to have lit a fire under you in terms of not spending any money. It was hard. Yes. But you did it. Yeah, I did. Usually when I set a goal and I say, okay, I want to do something, I'll just do it. You are, in fact, now living on a budget mm -hmm. and you're planning to be debt-free in how long? In two, three years. Good. It actually won't take that long, will it? Let's see, it depends. I'm very pleased with the progress that you made, Thank okay? You. You're gonna get a check for $4,500, so congratulations. Thank you. You did very, very well. Thank you. You should be very proud of yourself. That check, this actually cut my debt down. Oh. Yes! Oh, you had me go. <laughs> Thank you. You know what? Do you think you could get any happier? Yes, when I buy my house. Okay. How about if I give you an extra $500 to put in an RESP for Kiki? Oh, my God. Oh, Thank you. You're no. welcome. You're making me cry. Stop crying. You're making me cry. Oh. Wow. Give a little to get a lot. Thank you. You're very welcome. You earned every penny of it. Overall, I do feel I went through a big change. If I see something really nice and I want it, I go, that's the key word, you want it. You don't need it, you want it. Walk away. So, I'm doing better. Like, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I can tell, I can tell she loves to go. Shop. She's all out of control. She can't stop. She's trying to close Jules' hair. She's throwing money everywhere. My head is spinning. Oh, 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 oh. She's a princess. She's a princess. Modern day princess.